Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick. I'm Damo. So we put out a poll a while ago um, asking who you wanted to see. Um, we've been working our way through the poll and today we've got Earl Campbell and this is called A Football Life, The Ultimate Back. So yeah, looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, definitely. It's been coming up in the comments a lot. A lot of people have wanted us to take a look and yeah, as we said before, we'll work our way through that poll. Yep. So yeah, see what he's Let's got. see what he's got, yeah. Hello again, everybody, from Texas Stadium in Dallas. The NFL schedule makers could not have come up with a better pairing to help America finish off its Thanksgiving feast. For too many years, the Houston Oilers have been thought of as that other pro team in Texas. And this one's for more than just America's bragging rights. This one's for the Pro Football Championship. Of He's number 34. Mm. Judging by what someone said before about how they used to do the numbering, that is going to mean when it says ultimate back, he's another running back. Yeah. yeah. I would if he say is another running right. back, we're still excited to see him, by the way, but a few people have been saying, oh, all we're doing is running backs. We're going to be doing loads of different positions. It's just, at the moment, we just everyone wanted to see running backs. We so. might change the channel name to RB Reacts or something. <laughs> yeah. Running backs react. I could be wrong with that, but I'm just thinking 34, pretty sure Walter Peyton was 34. Oh, you're testing my knowledge here. I know. I've got to stop saying these things on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're setting us up. I know. <laughs> um, what are you all about, you idiot? He was definitely in the 30s. Yeah, so I think so. But yeah, we'll see. We'll Both see. Texas. I might be wrong. But I'm Phillips the night before the game. Did something very strange that night. He says, I tell you what, guys. We're going to leave for a few minutes to coaches. But we want you all to watch this film. And, you know, everybody's saying, what's finna go on? Because we usually go to running backs here and everybody. But I'm Philip them let them put in something called America's team. They are the Dallas Cowboys, America's team. And Bum puts that tape in. That's what started everything. He got everybody fired up. This is my home in the state of Texas. Earl Campbell was not a cowboy. But on Thanksgiving Day in 1979, definitely he beat the Oilers in state rival. And Sorry, yeah he, yeah, he is a running back, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah he is. So I've completely forgotten about all of that. I just, <laughs> I was already set in motion. VR saw the quarterback hand off and yeah. he started off in the running back position, didn't he? He did. Solidified his status as a Texas folk hero. We grew up with no trophies in the house. So a lot of the stuff that I learned about my dad, I learned from my friends, my friends' parents. Uh, to go over to your friend's parents' house and they have game footage. <laughs> wow. It was like he's inhuman. <clears throat> Not sure how he's wriggled free of that. I thought it was... Uh kind of girlish for one guy to tackle me. I mean, I wanted to have a bunch of them. <laughs> oh, wow. Show him run. Wow. He just flattened <laughs> that guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is this is a definitely a different kind of um, yeah. running back, isn't it? I mean, he's got elements of other ones we've seen with a lot of heart, but he doesn't just seem to have the heart. He just seems to have sheer power. Yeah, power. power. That's exactly my first thought yeah. was power, yeah. Christ. Yeah, I wonder what else is going on. <laughs> Running the ball, then they would back it up in reverse and show all the people he had run over. <laughs> I see him run over people. And then I see him run around him, and I never saw him get caught from behind. Here comes a stiff arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when there was four minutes left of the game, we were ahead and we had the ball, it was over. You know, he ran so low that there was nothing to tackle. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> See how he's just leaving piles of bodies behind him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. And a couple of these as well. He's taking out people playing in, players playing in positions that are stereotypically... Bigger guys. Bigger guys. Yeah, so. yeah. Definitely. You'd think here, this guy's tackled him. Yeah, no, he's got not him down. A chance. No, he's got him down completely. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was, I was technically right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How did he take a hit like that? Was that, that was a touchdown. Bang. Oh, 
Mate, his shirt's coming it's, off. It's his shirt coming off, yeah. right? We were Literally at took three guys. In Ohio. Um, it was the first time I ever went to an autograph show with my dad. Because he never, he never let the kids go to these autograph shows and meet all these people. He never wanted that. So it was a spotlight that we never got to see. So I finally got to see it when I graduated from college. And Jim Brown is backstage. And for me as a kid, I was raised to say that Jim Brown was the, was the greatest. He was the best. Jim Brown tells me, and he tells everybody else that's up there, best running backs. You put Jim Brown first, and you put Earl Campbell second. Mm -hmm. The rest of them, Love you can that. put them in line any way that you want to. Jim Brown saying, my dad's second, the rest you can put them wherever you want to. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. In Campbell. Talking, massive compliment that is. Yeah, and talking massive. to Jim Brown, you got your voice back now after that. You, you lost for words when you watched Jim Brown. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, we we did. We released a Jim Brown video, and I was literally lost for words on it. Amazing. It's good to see you stumble over like that. It was quite fun. I haven't yeah, seen yeah. you do that yet. But um, yeah, Those first two seasons from Jim Brown, big. The only people keeping the Oilers in second place were the Steelers. Both years, Campbell won league MVP honors, but missed out on the Super Bowl after getting iced in Pittsburgh. I honestly thought there was going to be some way that they were going to sweep something off of that field. But it didn't happen. We could defend their wide receivers, lock them down with one player. And we could focus all of our attention on Earl. The Oilers did not score a touchdown in the first game. Wow. Campbell was held to 15 yards in the second. Wow. Coming back from those games was probably the most memorable thing. The Oilers arrived home to thousands of fans at the airport in an Astrodome packed beyond capacity. <sighs> those people in Houston, I'm telling you, I have never, ever seen so many people I seen Pastorini sneak out there and get on a motorcycle with a cop. I said, I'm gonna do that. In 1980, the Oilers rode Earl Campbell. He carried the ball 373 times for 1,934 yards. But when the offense began to sputter, Bum Phillips heard criticism that he was overworking Campbell. I never felt like it, I cared, that he carried the ball too much, and he didn't either. Believe me, every time Earl carried the ball, he wanted to carry it. And he's so good, if he wants to carry it, you let him carry it. And he never got hurt. He hurt people. He didn't get hurt. In the playoffs, the Oilers were stymied by the Oakland Raiders. The end result was not just a stunning end to the season but a loss even more shocking. Yeah, that was good, that. Bit of a yeah. weird ending. I thought that was going somewhere then. I yeah, thought it was, was going to lead into something else, like a lot, even more as a part two. Um, There's obviously a story there that we need to know more about. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, what is that worth us diving into? Let us know if there is any other videos on El Campbell, by the way, because when no, no one provided any links for this, so I had to go through the search, and there wasn't a lot to choose from. So I went with, I think it was NFL Throwbacks, completely yeah. different channel it was now, but yeah, one that was well established, because I thought hopefully that would be a good video, good content. But yeah, Tank, what a tank. Yeah, I mean, unbelievable, yeah. yeah. Very, very different style of running back to what we've seen so far. Really powerful um, guy, like... He yeah. take he, he was just like leaving bo a pile of bodies, like yeah. I said. And even if they did get him down, it wasn't like without a fight. No, no, um, God, no, yeah, no. It was really good. Really. Annoying. That's only a little snippet of obviously what what he's about. So we'll definitely have to see more. Yeah, I know. Um, it's, I feel like this. Is not, I mean, to be fair, every time we're watching a player at the moment, it leaves me wanting more. So oh, and that, yeah, that's why they're so good. I know. It's um, so annoying because we just have to. You think <clears throat> we want to get to all of these other players that everyone's requested yeah. at the same time? Go back. But yeah, there's just so much. We we hope you enjoyed. Next up, by the way, for those who are keeping track of these ones, is Larry Allen. Larry Allen, Who yeah, I believe, yeah. actually, from a comment that I can remember, he's very much not a running back. So no. we're taking up, I believe somebody said he a guard? Guard, yeah. a guard. Yep. But yeah, so he's coming up next. 
Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. It really helps to grow the channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.